Hello everyone and welcome to my future office. I am so, so excited to be starting this project. I've been looking forward to it for over a year now. I am so excited to have a space for me to just come in, be creative, do all my work in, and separate my room and relaxing space to my workspace. That's something I've been struggling with, separating my work mentality to my relaxing mentality. I just combine the two. So whenever I have open time to relax, I usually turn to working and it's not the most healthy. My plan with this office is to have everything work related be done in here and have the rest of my house be my house and my sanctuary. So what we have going on right now, this is a freshly painted space. Before it was a dreadful neon green. Sadly, I don't have any quality before shots of this whole room. It had that green wall plus horse wallpaper all the way around the room. I sadly caught the flu and I was down for the weekend and my stepdad, the angel that he is, over the time I was dying, he painted this whole space white, pure white, and I cannot believe how beautiful and bright it is in here. So I'll give you a little overview of the empty room right now. So here it is, it's just an empty white room. We still have to paint the doors and the baseboards and things like that. And I also ordered flooring today. I'm so excited to rip out this nasty carpet. There's some nice old nail polish stains right here. I'm so excited because there's such a lovely huge window in here. So it's gonna be so beautiful for filming and photos. So that's all the updates I have as of right now. It's just a beautiful empty canvas of a room. I'm so excited to to rip out this nasty carpet and start decorating and I'm so excited to take you along this journey. Today's a very exciting day because we are ripping out the carpet and I can't wait to do this. I think it's gonna be the most satisfying part of this whole project. I don't know why I hate carpet so much but it's like my nemesis and I'm so excited to see this one go. This one especially because it has so many gross stains on it. I'm just so excited. My Stepdad is going to be helping me, so let's get to it. Johnny. <laughs> and there we go, a naked room. A blank canvas. What's gonna happen in here? I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, this is just so satisfying to not see those stains anymore. Tomorrow we're gonna start installing the laminate flooring I picked out and I'm so so excited to see this room after that. I think it's gonna be a complete 180 of what it was before. We still have to tackle the closet. I wasn't sure what I was wanting to do with it first but I didn't like these doors with like the elbows. I thought they looked kind of, I don't know, not my favorite. So I think what I'm gonna do is just hang a pretty curtain over it, really tall ones to make this room feel bigger than it is as well. We have to paint this now. I think I wanna take that out and I think I might keep those for like makeup storage. I think they're gonna be good for planning out videos, but we'll see. I think I'm just gonna be storing like my lights and things like that. But here's a little quick overview of the very, very naked room. I am so excited. So one last look at this beautiful plywood floor.
Welcome to my finished office. <laughs> so first we have this really nice shelf. The shelving unit I got at HomeSense for around $200, which is a really good price. And a lot of the things on here are from HomeSense as well. Um, I have this Hoya Compacta and I got this at Greenland, both of them, the plant and the pot. And then I have this little cute gold mirror with a picture of me and my two favorite boys, cats. <laughs> uh, I got this from Anastasia Beverly Hills in a PR package they sent. This I got when I was living in Vancouver. Um, I got it at a cute place called Old Faithful, I think, in, in Gastown, and I love it so much. I know you can buy the pot at Anthropology too. I don't know if it's still available. I've, I've seen it on their website, though. I got this from HomeSense, and I got a good deal because a piece of it is broken. I had to tape it back together, but it's okay. And I also don't really have any of my frames filled. They're all, like, the basic whatever the frame was bought in. So I didn't put that in there, by the way. Both of these are philodendron plants. This is a neon and this is a Brazil. And then down here I have this like jewelry box I got at Pier 1. Pier 1 is closing in Canada, so I got a good deal on it. I don't know if they're closing in the States either, but yeah, I was able to get good deals on a lot of things. And I got this from Guerlain. This is a pan package I got. And inside I keep all of the handwritten cards brand send me. I don't know, it just makes me happy and I super appreciate it. And yeah, so I keep it all in here. So cute. You can also transform this into a beehive apparently. I might have to try that out this summer, but for right now, that's its job. Over here, we have these two woven things. I don't really know what they're called, but I got them from Pier 1 as well. And then here, I have my huge Monstera Deliciosa plant and I got the basket from Home Sets as well. Here I have two pillows from Pier 1 with the nice and juped on it. This couch is the perfect thing. I wanted kind of a day bed or something to edit on comfortably. So this was actually my grandma's old furniture before she refurbished her house. This just works with the space so perfectly and I love it. It's the most comfy thing and I love the rattan finishings. I I'm obsessed with this. And then here is my desk, which you guys have seen in some of my Shop My Stashes and decluttering videos. The tabletop is a custom piece, and it's between two IKEA mound dressers. I wanted a lot of storage, and I hated the classic um, drawers that everyone has with the little indent. I thought this would just work a lot better, and it holds so much more things than those other drawers. And here I have a whale fin sense of area, and I also got these from HomeSense. Here I have my planner and another empty frame. I don't know if that's bad luck. Is it bad luck somewhere? I, I don't know. And then I have my brush holders here that go with the cement theme on my desk, and I got these from Simon's, and they're great. You can put these in the dishwasher, which is nice, because there's so much eyeshadow and glitter that falls down beneath there and it gets real nasty. So I wash these like once a month. And here I have my favorite plant, my Monstera Thai Constellation. It's my pride and joy and I love it so much. So it's right here on my desk so I can look at it whenever I want. And then I have my favorite thing of my office, my Nespresso machine. My mom got one of these a few years ago and she turned to me, I can't live without it. So this is a very expensive coffee machine, but it's so worth it for me. I love it. it makes me excited every single morning. And then here, which was supposed to be on for the aesthetics, but I have a sage diffuser. And inside diffusing right now is uh, Mountain High. That one's my favorite. I've gone through so many bottles of that. But um, before I get comments, I don't have cats at this house, so I can really diffuse all the oils I want. Just because I know I'm gonna get those comments. I don't have cats or animals at this place yet. But when I do, I won't be diffusing any oils. And then here, what I have planned, I'm going to be getting a curtain rod with some nice linen curtains because doors or anything don't really work on here. And I have these really pretty uh, curtain rod finishings that I'm so excited about. They're going to be so pretty. They're a nice brass and I feel like they're just going to bring in the room nicely. They're so beautiful. I love them. But in here, I just have my cleaning supplies, my brush cleaning supplies. And here I have a full bag of empties because I love doing empty videos. I have some of my equipment, so my tripods, my ring lights, and I also have this extra desk here, which I like to pull out sometimes if I'm doing specific videos, and it's also great because it holds my jewelry, 
as well as my coffee pods and things I like to use for product shots and just a bunch of random things that I like to grab often for this room. And that concludes my office makeover. I am so happy to have this space. It has already impacted my life in such a positive way. I'm so happy to have a space where I can turn my work mode on and have the rest of my house be my relaxing area. I've never had that before. I always worked where I slept and my mental health was not great. I would never turn off work mode. I would work to like three in the morning sometimes, it was ridiculous. But having this space, I feel so much more like a normal human. <laughs> it's so great and I've loved every single video that has come out of this room so far and I'm so happy you guys have as well. Let me know if you'd like to see more room makeover videos. I am going to be doing my kitchen soon as well as the rest of upstairs, like my bedroom, closet, bathrooms, everywhere. I'm basically gonna be doing this to my whole house. So let me know if you'd like to see more of these videos. I think it was really fun and something very different um, but yeah that is all from me today you guys thank you so much for watching I really hope you enjoyed today's video if you did please give it a huge thumbs up it would help me out so much um, I will link what I can in the description down below and I will catch you guys in the next one love you bye